Alright, so, um, Dark Dreams don't die. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, the game, they, maybe they don't die. The game died. The game died near on instantly because it was crap. Um, <laughs> it was bad. Um, and I think it was trying to be a connect experience, guys. A game that would really, really enhance the power and show you the true ability of the Kinect 2.0. An ability to tank consoles and to tank games because, uh, <laughs> bro, bro, this, this game died. You make a multi-part episode game and you only have the first episode. Hey, maybe maybe they ended up finishing it somehow in like comic books or something. You do kind of do like Star Wars, you know. We just did the Rise of Skywalker. It makes no goddamn sense. We'll fix it in post and comics. It's just like this game. It's made by um, the Deadly Premonition guy. It's Swarney, Swarty, whatever the hell his name is. It's not Suda Fifty One. I thought it was Suda Fifty One. It's like no, Suda Fifty One has made some um, some okay games. Um, that's not that's not him. This it's made by the uh, Deadly Premonition dude. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's deadly, all right? This guy, <laughs> deadly, deadly to, uh, you being employed, because you're going to get fired, guy. Um, and it's kind of sad that, um, you know, this was an Xbox One exclusive, and I, I don't know if it came out on Steam or not. Uh, would you even want to bring this game out to Steam? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it is. Um, but it, it, it used the Kinect, although you could use a controller. It was mainly wanted you to use Kinect. And it was one of those few games, um, there was like a fake Panzer Dragoon game that also used Kinect. There was a couple of them that tried to, you know, try to bridge the Kinect. Because that was going to be the key differentiating factor between Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, it was differentiated, right? It made Xbox cost $100 more dollars, and then they had to take, rip that shit out. And they got, they're so butthurt that even on their Series X, it's like, well, it's going to play all the Xbox games ever besides, you know, Kinect games. Cause, but the Kinect. <laughs> Fuck the connect. Uh, but anyway, you're a detective type dude and you're trying to de solve some kind of mystery. And I don't even remember what the mystery was. Um, mystery's like, why the hell is there a bunny lady in the in your kitchen? I don't know. <laughs> it's just bad. And um, it's kind of like sort of like Telltale uh, games were where they had a bunch of stories out and you know outstanding and you know they're pretty much shut down and they're like how are you gonna get these stories done well uh, but if your your game is so bad and your story is not even good enough it's just goofy and weird that um, you're not ever you're never going to figure out the mystery at all yeah <laughs> so it's just kind of like a quick stain a shit stain it's a freaking kitty litter shit stain on the floor and you gotta clean up thanks kitty that was from a couple days ago, but uh, <laughs> freaking, um, there's not much to say besides you don't have to use the Kinect. You could use the controller. You can see right here they're clearly trying to get you to slide your hand up and down with the freaking toy here. Um, but you, you can use the damn um, controller to do it. Now I'm pretty sure I didn't even use the Kinect. I used the controller to play, and then um, and then otherwise it's a dead story because it was so bad. Um, the Xbox One, this is not, I don't know if it was a day, I don't think it was a day one release, but it was within that uh, immediate fall, um, so I think it's 2013 released, and then um, just, it was forgotten, and then later thrown up on Games With Gold, it's like, oh, we need an Xbox One for Games With Gold, oh, let's just give them this, um, this, I mean, pretty much a damn demo, honestly, is what it is, and then, um, you know, Freaking, uh, oh, if you're interested in this story, well, too bad, you ain't getting it. <laughs> you ain't getting it. So, there's there's no pause to throw for this half ass game. Uh, it's never finished. And um, it kind of reminds me, as an aside, is um, The Life is Strange 2. When The Life is Strange 2 is just considered, I've never even played it. Uh, once I heard it, no one thought it was very good, cause especially compared to the first one. It's like, oh well. It's like, and you hear that off the first episode, it's not very good. Well, you know, you got four or five more episodes to do, and then why should you care? And uh, it leads you to this situation where you're, you're really thinking you're, you're hot shit if you're going to make a five-part game or whatever immediately. <laughs> Rich goes, have you part one. Here you go. Enjoy it. Dabble with this connect shit. Oh, wait. There ain't going to be no more. We quit. I mean, I'm sorry. That's how it is. Um... But, you know, he made a Deadly Premonition 2 for Switch that went like shitballs. So, you know, I guess I guess he's improving there. But, uh, yeah, I shouldn't be hating too much. Um, maybe the game would have been good if it was actually finished. But, freaking what I played here was just mediocre as hell. 